Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us like we do every week. And today we are doing oh, oh, some fun painting and dyeing of eggs. Ooh. So you may do this during some holidays. I thought let's paint them and I'm gonna show you some fun tricks that we're gonna do together with all the different supplies we're using. So I will tell you what we're gonna grab and then we'll jump right in. So we are using our watercolors. Now, there are three different colors, but this project is so fun. So if you have any colors, I want you to grab all of them that you have. This is gonna be a good one. But the ones that I'm gonna be using are green, a blue, and it's like a purpley color. This one is called orchid. I like that purple. Yeah. So grab any of your watercolors. Then the one thing that I want you to also grab is if you have our box, we are using this thicker white paint. And so I want you to grab that out as well. Now we are, let me move this over. We're going to start with our motto, which we do every week. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me, I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> Boom. Oh, and if Keenan can come back here, I want to introduce, if you don't know him already, this is our cameraman. Hello. Keenan. So you'll hear him in the back painting along with you and I. So we have our supplies. Now, if I if you don't have this already, I also wanted to mention we like to use a brush. You can use any size. We always have some water, a paper towel, and a paint palette where we put all our, pa our paint on. Now, for the first step is let's make more colors. So you saw the three colors that I had out right here. Now I want to show you, we can make so many more colors. This is the fun thing about watercolors is that you can make so many out of just three. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mix and let's see what happens if we mix these two colors together. So I'm going to put it on here where I have some of my green. So try this along with me where I'm going to, in the same spot, I'm going to mix green and blue. Do you count how many drops you put in there? I don't. You can. Maybe you put three or four of each color. That's a good question, though. Depends on how much we're using. But we're not using a lot of paint, so don't worry if you if you didn't get it right. There's no right or wrong. But so I want to show you is if you mix them together. Do you see that really pretty color? Yes. We just made that. Now, if you want to go and make more, here's the cool thing is I'm going to pick up some of this right here. What if I add more green? What happens? So this is how you just kind of have fun. You're gonna mix, maybe that's an in-between. Ooh, that's like a little bit darker green. Ooh, so there's so many we can get. Now I wanna see what happens if I put, so maybe we'll do three drops of blue and three drops of orchid. Let's see what we get. Ooh. That's a pretty color. Oh, that's such a pretty purple. Whoa. That's like a royal purple yeah. almost. That's a good one. So the reason why we had, and I left, you'll see. So now we have one, two, three, four, five different colors. I guess six if you want to count that, is now we're going to make pastel versions of those colors. So we have all of our watercolor set. Now what I want to show you is grab that white that, I, that we have and scoop out a little bit. So I like to use the end of my paintbrush and I'm just going to scoop out a little bit, you don't need very much, but I wanna make five piles. So I'm just scooping out and putting it on my palette. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay, and then I like to scrape the end just to get some of that off, and then I'll clean my brush with paper towel. Okay, so we have do you see the five different white spots? Yes. Now, here's the cool part. We're gonna dye our white paint. Oh. Just like how if you were to dye Easter eggs and you put it, you dip it in, we're gonna change the color of our white paint. And what we're gonna do is I want you to pick up a little bit, just a little bit of your, one of your colors and mix it into your white paint. Do you see how we made a lighter Ooh, color? It looks like pretty? frosting. Oh, it does. 
we're gonna make five different types of frosting. So that's mm -hmm. one that's like a light green. So when they're lighter colors like this and they're whiter, they're called pastel colors. So I'm gonna do it again where I'm gonna pick up a little bit. I don't have a lot, a little bit of my blue. And you'll see that when I'm mixing it and when you're doing this with me, is it's a little bit thicker. Like Kino and Sade, it does kind of feel like frosting. So it's a little bit thicker. Now, every time you'll notice, you'll see that I clean my brush after each time. So I can make a whole new color. So I'm gonna do that there. Go and clean my brush. So there's a light blue. Let's make a light purple, pastel purple. So again, we're mixing this in. So we are becoming artists and we're just making our colors, getting ourselves ready to make our painting. Ooh, that's cool. So there's another one. Now, if you find when you're doing this on your own, if you wanna make it even lighter, maybe you go and grab more white. If you wanna make it a darker color, you add more color. That's how it works. So we have our paint already. Now, we're going to paint our eggs. Now, I want you to pick any color. This is where you have fun. You can pick any of the colors you made. But what I'm thinking is, here's what I wanna show you, is that if you're looking at this example, can you see how the background, all of these are a, the pastel color? Then on top of it, we're going to add a darker color. Hmm. So that way it shows up. So what we're gonna do is the different colors, the pastel colors, grab any of them, and if it's too thick, what I want you to do is I want you to dip into your water and bring a little bit of the water onto your palette. That way it will make it a little bit easier to paint with. So I have my paint on my paintbrush. Now, when you are making an Easter egg, you are just painting an oval. So if you haven't painted an oval before, what might help is let's start with drawing a really tall C. So think of you, you, you know what a draw C, what if you make it really tall and skinny like you're stretching it out and just draw it bigger. Then you can do the opposite, so maybe you start from the top and I'm gonna draw an opposite C, but it's really tall and skinny. So can you see how that's an oval? Yes. So that may help you as you are drawing these shapes. Now, these eggs can be any size. Maybe some of them are really small, maybe some of them are big. This is your painting, and as you see, we're painting a lot of them. So don't worry about where you're painting them or how big they are. I want you to just go for it. You could also, if you don't want to do a freehand egg, mm -hmm. do you remember the trick you showed us when you were hand lettering with the a circle thing where you drew the top part of a circle with like a lid and then you shifted it and finished it and it was an oval? Oh, I don't know how we would do that with a small shape. You can do... A bottle cap. A bottle cap. <gasps> okay, let's try this. Is, this. is this what you meant? Yes. Okay, so if you take the cap, let's see. Do you want a pencil? Yes, and I have a pencil. And then you can fill it in. There mm, you go. Okay, this is another great idea, Keenan. is if you don't feel ready to do go straight to the paper, maybe you grab a pencil. Pencils are our friends. And let's do it right here. Also, eggs can be... Maybe there's some eggs that are circular. Maybe you're looking at it from the top. Yeah, it's that's true. It's standing up, so you're looking at it that way. The circle? Yeah. Is that what you meant? So yes. like that? And then you move it down a little bit? Yeah, I think that's what you did. I can't remember now, but this is a great idea. Well, it's a cute little egg. Boom, an egg. Boom! That's a great idea. So there's so many different ways that you can draw this. This just shows how you can use your imagination. Thank you, Keenan, for that idea. You're welcome. So I'm gonna paint these eggs. Now, if you are painting, and again, if, you, if it's too thick, always just go and grab a little bit more water. I think I'm gonna make this one really big. So again, I'm gonna draw a really big shape Another way you could do it is flip your paper sideways and make a smiley face and then a frown face. <laughs> okay, I'll try that one next. Okay. It's a good idea. Now, if you find like this one, I'm running out of paint, guess what? You can make more. So I'm gonna go and grab more, grab some white. It's how fun, we're just making some art. This is fun. I like this project. 
I like all of the projects, but this one's extra fun for some reason. I don't know why. Because <laughs> we get to dye some paint? Yeah. I'm also thinking about all the, the eggs you could eat. Oh. Do Chocolate you like... eggs. Oh. Regular eggs. I like eggs. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. Mmm. Poached. <laughs> Poached eggs? Mmm. Those are good. Okay. As we're talking about them. Let's see. So Keenan was saying if you flip it, so draw a smiley face and then draw a frown or a mustache. Oh, it looks like a football. Perfect. Perfect. It's a football egg. <laughs> so we're filling them in. So this is how you do it. If you want, you can make them any different size. Maybe, let's see, I'm going to fill it in right here. So again, we're just painting our eggs. Do you dye eggs at home or with your girls? Yeah. Yeah? I think we've done it one time. Nice. I'm sure they This would be it. a good year to do it again. Yeah. They could do this project too. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more. Can you, can, is the paint really light? Can you see it on camera? It is very light, but yeah, we can see it. On okay. the palette or on the paper? Oh, on the paper. Yes, we can see it. Okay, just wanna make sure that you at home We can, can see, see it, this. we love it, we're here for it. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, now I have my eggs. You can go and paint more. I'm just gonna stop right there. And we are going to move on to the next step which is decorating. Decoration. Which is really fun. Now, I'm gonna close up my white paint because I'm done with that. And let's just have fun. So any of the colors you have. So you made all these different colors of the watercolors, or you can use some of the pastel colors if you want as well. But I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna pick a color. And I'm gonna start from the top because I think these might be a little bit Mm, actually, yours might be wet too, so maybe you pause and we'll take a quick snack break because mm. I think it'll take a few minutes to dry and then we'll come back and paint. Snack break. <laughs> okay. Hi everyone. I have a special, no, an excellent tip for you. To go along with this project, Nicole didn't mention it, now she's busy eating a snack. So I thought I would come in here and sit on my bucket and tell you what else you could do with the project. And look at this, you can make balloons. You can make it a happy birthday project. You can make it balloons, you could make it a, a light, a lamp dangling from the sky of a house that you might wanna draw, who knows? So, don't forget to try new things with the things you're learning here with Nicole. And I hope your snack break is going well. Okay, bye. Okay, we're back. I hope you enjoyed your snack break and Keenan's little tip that he gave you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate because this is all dry. So I want you to grab your brush again and let's dip in our water because we're going to be using our watercolors and pick a color, any color, and you're going to paint on top of your eggs and draw any decorations. Now I think of stripes when I think of Easter eggs. I don't know why. I do too. But I think of stripes. So I'm just going to add lines across that egg. Let's pick another color. What else do you think of? I think of flowers. <gasps> okay, we can draw a flower. Okay. Batman. Um, okay. <laughs> um, a butterfly. Easter bunny ears. <laughs> we do have some projects where you can do that. That would look like a peace sign. <gasps> okay, Easter bunny ears. Or they'll look like... Or a spiral. Can you make it look like a spiral? There's Easter bunny ears. Okay, let's do it. Nice Easter bunny ears. There you go. That one's cute. Okay. You said a spiral? Yeah. Can you do that? Let's see. So when to do a spiral, start at any point and you're going to go around and draw in a circle, but then leave a little bit of space like that. So do you see I'm leaving space around? Yeah. Maybe it'll stop there and then we'll keep going. That's a great idea, Keenan. Nice. Woo! That's cool. Now... So I, on that one, I do some dots, maybe some zigzag I was going to say, definitely need some Charlie Brown zigzags. Yes. 
So that's just going up and down at an angle. Have you seen Charlie Brown? Yes. Wait, are you talking to me? I was talking to you. Oh, I see. <laughs> But that's, he wears a shirt that has those stripes. Maybe you do that. Maybe you mix it in and add some dots as well. So again, this is, you're getting to have fun with us. We're just painting. What was the other thing you had said, Keenan? Batman. Oh, Batman. <laughs> I don't know if that one would work, really. But what we can do is when I think of springtime, maybe it's a, a butterfly. What if you did grass? Okay. You want to do, I'll do grass on this one. Yeah, like do some blades of grass. Okay, maybe this one will do a butterfly. So I'm yeah, just kind of drawing. That. Do a butterfly. That's better than grass. No, I'm going to add grass to it. Oh. So it's kind of like a triangle and a triangle. Would you be willing to push that up quite a bit, please? Yes, I can. Thank you. Oh, it moved when I. It did move a little break. bit. Snack break moved us down. Okay, we're just going to make. Butterflies can be any color. Oh, yeah. Butterflies, there are some beautiful butterflies in the world. And here, there's so many I've seen when I go in the fields. Yes, I agree. I've seen so, some pretty ones. We're going to add some grass at the bottom. Oh, nice. So we're just decorating our eggs. It's a good idea. There you go. That's beautiful. Okay. What should you do on the last one? Hmm. One more. You could do a name. Oh, <gasps> that's a great idea. Or you, could do, or you could do the word Easter or spring. Or, or how about, can I, I'm just going to do one letter really big. Yeah, yes. Okay. We should I'll draw. probably do the letter L. Okay. A cursive L. <laughs> Those are hard. Okay, never mind. I can't do a cursive <laughs> L either, but. I'm going to do a regular L. Do a regular L. Okay. And then a seven. Okay. I'm going to draw an L. There's okay. no room for a seven. What if you turn it upside down? Then you have a seven. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nailed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so that's a good idea to draw maybe a letter on there. Now, here's the other fun thing is this is your painting. So if you want to make more like Keenan showed you is maybe you make, use the same techniques that we did and you make a happy birthday card. If you want to add, maybe you add some grass at the bottom and you paint some blue skies. There are so many possibilities with these so paintings. So many possibilities. Now you have, you have a fun new technique that you have that you can use at any point. So remember we just used white paint and we just dyed it any color that we wanted. So this was so much fun. I, gosh, I wanna see what you make. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Ask a grown up to take a picture of you and smile and share with us. And always remember that you are brave, kind, and very creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.